Well, I would say things are dire, but at this point, that's an understatement. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss Rai Shinobi. Today we have episode 405 and I think 408. There's some filler after this one of our One Piece watch through. And like I said, dude, th this is as down bad as I've ever seen the Straw Hats. Zoro has been, I guess, inherently teleported somewhere by Bar the Bartholomew Kuma. I'm stumbling over myself. And all the Straw Hats have basically been defeated. The only really line of defense at this point is Rayleigh, who is facing off against the Admiral Kizaru. And it is just, it's insanity, man. It's madness. Madness. We're going to hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub and hit that big boy bell and let's get started. I'm losing my voice. You can hear it. Like, I just, it's madness. The two Kumas, man. <laughs> The thing is too, Usopp doesn't know how it works. I mean, we have a general idea, but in his perspective, or Zoro straight up just disappeared. He could have thought for anything that he just murdered him and just like turned him to dust, basically. Thanos snapped him. God, so like jarring seeing two of them standing there next to each other. Even Luffy, yeah, he doesn't know either. You could think he's dead. The chopper, man. It's just another, another piece of the puzzle. It's just sad. No one can control him at this point. Zoro's been by his side since the very beginning. It's so, it's so much immaculate power, but yeah, again, he can't control himself. He just thought that was his only option, which at this point, there were no options. Wait, he's wondering what the actual Kuma is doing here. What? Is he not supposed to be? What? He's, he's upset with him. Wait, what? Huh. You would think they would be like, oh yeah, another world war. Nice, we got this really under control. Yeah, she was erased though. Erased and by erased, I'm pretty sure he straight up just slaps you and you just go flying to wherever he wants to send you. Either that or it actually does teleport you. Like just straight up like one split second. You can trick him still. He's failed once already. Here he goes. So the person flying through the sky for three days and three nights. That's like maximum. He's straight up just gone. Like, dude, he could be at the end of the grand line. He could be in Sierra Village for all we know. He could be next to God dang Laboon for all we know. My goodness. Yeah, but why? Why is he here? They weren't planning on it. There's like a very small part of me that thinks that he's saving Zoro. Wait, is he gonna do it to Usopp too? Oh no, the other one's about to launch at him. It says so he'd actually recognize him as Soga King because his head's turn or his back's turn. Wait, it all depends what Kuma does right here. <gasps> Oh my god! Yes! Wait, why? Should I root for Kuma? What is happening, man? Yeah. It's like he's saving them. I don't understand, man. There's nothing you can do. What can you do right now? Are you gonna ask Kuma politely where he sent him? He's gonna do it to Brock! Ah! Brock! He did it to Brock! Wait, but what if he's sending him to the same place? The lack of reasoning in, in terms of what he's doing here and why he's standing up against the other, other Kumas is a good chance that he is saving them. You just don't know. You pod, but he's gonna do it to Sanji. He's just gonna smack him. Oh no, he didn't. Just ricocheted him. Oh my god, what a shot. He has to be the one of the best, if not the best character design on the show so far. He's just a monster. Look at the coloring. It makes it feel so hopeless. I mean, in their perspective, they think that he's just murdering them, turning them to dust. Or just sending them to like the pits of hell. Oh my god, the bubbles popping. Where are they going, dude? Anywhere on Earth. And Sanji's so pissed. Sanji. He's gonna do it to Sanji. He's gone. Oh my gosh, what is going on? It's, it is the most hopeless this show has ever been. More hopeless than any slobby. Dude, they're still just going at it! Dude, just gods amongst men! 
Old retired man. <laughs> kind of like a brick wall meeting a brick wall. Unstoppable force, immovable object. They seem very even. <gasps> He's telling him something. Dog, is Kubo like switching sides? He's probably, he's probably telling him where he sent them. <gasps> Why? Yeah, dude. Oh my God. Damn. Oh my God. I want to root for Kuma so bad. He's stopping them. The thing is, it doesn't even matter if they can trust him or not. They have no choice. He's giving them no choice. Oh my god, Luffy. Luffy is fighting with his whole heart. Like it's nothing! And Frankie's gone. No, Nami. This is... This is just insanity. Oh my god. Three bubbles remain. Is it Sanji, Luffy, and Chopper? Dude. <laughs> the thing is, like, it doesn't feel as dire from our end because we're seeing every perspective and we're seeing how it's shifting and how Kizaru is confused and... Oh my gosh. He said he fears for himself, too. Wouldn't he be automated if he's inherently a machine, too, and he was operated on by Dr. Vegapunk? Wouldn't he have inherent responsibilities to the Navy? This is, yeah, he's one million percent the real one. It's so noticeable now how slow the, the pacifistas are compared to Bartholomew Kuma. It is so, the difference is insane. Look how massive Chopper is. He's gone. The question is, is he sending them to the same place or just different locations? I said, no choice. You, at this point, you, you're so hopeless. You have to let whatever is happening happen. He's losing everyone. Oh my god. He's not strong enough. It's too late. Oh, that is so sad. It's like Bartholomew Kuma wants to tell him more too, but he can't. But that's why he told Rayleigh, because he knows there's a good chance Rayleigh can make it out of this. But maybe he thinks he won't make it out of this. Not Luffy. It's sunny. Oh my god. Like all their first meetings. It's like first and then to them joining. Oh my god, dude. That feels like forever ago. Oh my god. Little chop. Little tiny chop. <laughs> Jesus. He thinks he just lost everyone. Sorry.
そいつも飛ばして終わりかいちゃんと説明はあんだろうな。I don't know if he does. I just don't understand. もう二度と。Oh my god! I think he's saying that knowing this is the end of him because he is saving them. He just freed all of them. Dude, Sunny is still here. They lost. Oh my god, that was. <laughs> That was really heavy, man. It's just like, you know, in your head, like, you're like, okay, they, they, they're not dying. Like, there's no way they're dying. But they can't just wipe the cast like that, right? Surely. But you, you put yourself in, like, Luffy's shoes in his position that he thinks he just lost everybody and that he wasn't strong enough to save everybody. And him seeing, like, him bring all of them on, he's like, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm strong enough. We're good. I'll protect you. We'll be a crew. I'll become king of the pirates. It's always so simple. Dude, it's just saying, like, the collapse. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, this show is just so unlike any other I've I've ever seen. It's because it's so long and the journey that, that you go on that it's more impactful moments like that. All right, episode 408, I guess. 406 and 7 are filler. Let's go to 408. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh my gosh, there's no way Duval is the first thing I see after that. There is no shot. After that traumatic experience, the rosy life writers is who we're checking in on. Uh, incredible. Absolutely incredible. All right, Duval, what, 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 what you got going on? What were those shockwaves? War, my friend. Absolute chaos. Dog, not to mention Luffy it hasn't found out about the whole thing with Ace yet either. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot, the, the the celestial dragon. Yeah, I get dunked on trash. Oh, they have no idea. Oh, they are on Sunny. Oh wait, maybe it's in good hands. But dude, they have no way to get around. The strats, wherever they are, have no ship. It's so nice that they're watching over it, man. I mean, Rayleigh also knows what happens too, or what has happened too. And he was supposed to coat the ship in general. <laughs> There's a lot of rosy life riders, more than I thought. Oh, shoot. Kami and them. They have no idea. Strong, but strong enough. <laughs> she knows. She knows they don't. Yep, not even remotely. It's a rude awakening. What a fitting place to have said rude awakening. It's crazy. They make it to this this checkpoint, and then it's just just doom. Absolute doom. Tide of times change. Are we even gonna find out where they are? Were they separated? Are they the same place? After being ejected. <gasps> there he is! Oh! They actually just straight up fly through the sky! Oh my gosh. Alright, what have he missed? And Luffy landed in the ocean. I have a bad feeling he did split them up. He said three days and three nights is possible. Hey, he dropped this very important information about the power. <laughs> He's like, you might as well get comfortable. But he sent them somewhere, yeah. Wouldn't you starve? Oh, just go straight through that mountain? Yo, wouldn't you get like insanely hungry? That's what I said. And he's been fighting too, so he's even hungrier. That's not them, is it? The other orbs? I don't think they'd be that close. He's just straight up asleep in the sky. This is what Perona went through. Oh my gosh, how far, man. Oh, three days later. Oh, an island. <laughs> Those sea kings are like, bro, what was that? Oh, shoot, the paw print. Oh my gosh. Now the question begs, where is everybody else? <laughs> Big animal. It's because of Kuma's power. What is that? For a split second, I thought it'd be Chopper in his form still. If it had been that long. <laughs> Brother Luffy, I think you're so... Oh my gosh! Oh, dude, I even think about that. Oh, he's, he's so insanely far, though. Oh, you know the direction. Too bad there is ocean in the way. Miles and miles and endless miles of it. 
It's a, it's like a safe, safe rude awakening. If everybody's okay, it sets in stone how unready Luffy is for everything that I guess the new world has to offer, but in a way that like nobody, nobody died. They're lucky. They're all so lucky. The, the, the like animal fixed its teeth already. It's all like taped together. <laughs> it's just watching now. It's a giant pistol. Wait, that's just gear three. You just call gear three giant pistol? I mean, that's what he uses, but still. Usually he says gear three. This animal is so concerned with what he's seeing. Oh, he's food. <gasps> Run! No, he's like, no, please, please. Oh, uh, rip. Rest in peace. Oh my gosh, Luffy! To the bone? Grandpa would throw me into the jungle? <laughs> I don't want to remember that. Traumatizing times. I feel like half are going to be here with him and the other half will be somewhere else. I feel like that's just the trial ahead. Laughing mushrooms? Uh, how does he know? Oh, okay, thank goodness. Oh, it's because of those times in the jungle as a kid because of Garp. He's just eating random mushrooms. Oh my gosh. How has this child ever survived? It's sweating in death. Buddy's just gonna die. Oh. What are those snakes? Are, are, is it the snakes talking or are people riding the snakes? What is happening? <laughs> what is on him? Margaret. Oh my great googly moogly. Oh my great googly moogly. Okay, so it was snakes on people. Oh my great googly moogly. This mushroom's growing out of him now. Bro, Luffy. Oh my gosh. That is so cursed. Oh my goodness. WNBA player in the background. She ate? I think Luffy's a girl? That snake looks so goofy. Oh, they're gonna save him. Afalandra. God damn! Oh my god, that is so disgusting looking. All right, Luffy got a one-way trip to what? Is this just snake themed? Oh my. I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. They all have snakes? Wait, it's all women! This place is awesome! Yeah, they're saying she. Do only women live here? Do they even know what a guy is? You just pull them all off? Ew, that is so disgusting. Oh, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh. I lost. Why is everybody here so hot? What? Oh, she's gonna burn them off? Oh my gosh. Oh, shoot. Burn all the roots off? <laughs> Damn! They keep saying she. Tremendous battles, to say the least. I'm guessing nobody else is here, because everybody seems shocked to see Luffy. Either that, or if they did land here, then they landed at different spots or further away. Bruh. Dude, it is. This. Uh, uh, <laughs> why have we not come here sooner? I don't know what kind of paradise Luffy has fallen into, but he, he pulled the, the, the best straw out of all of them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, stop. <laughs> oh my god, stop! Stop! A sack mushroom! Please don't! Dios mio! It's painful! Please stop! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's still going. She's not very well endowed. Thank God he's not conscious. No, no, no. Ah! I thought she knew. I thought she understood. Oh my God, they've lost it. They never had it though. Granny Neon. Does Granny Neon know the truth? <laughs> it seems they don't know what a guy is. Like none of them. She's gonna know though. Old timer. Maybe it's like hidden from them. Like they're not supposed to know. Seems like a very closed off civilization. 
<laughs> oh, she's telling him. And then it all makes sense. Okay, so they know what a man is. And now them tugging makes it worse to them. And they know what they've done. Maybe they've like heard of heard of them, but I've never yeah, never seen one. Dude, what is this place? The maiden island of Amazon Lily. Ku Kuja. Tribe of people known as the Kuja. Amazonians, bro? Should you still value your life? Do they kill all men? Listen, man, I don't know. I don't know the whole price of being on this place. And I'm going to keep it a buck. Said price may or may not be worth it. I that's, ju I, that's just what I hear from the things that I've seen. It <laughs> seems quite all right. Okay, so yeah, no. Uh, Sabo the Archipelago, everything just went so balls to the wall, like crazy insane. And now we may just be split up. Who knows where everybody landed? At this point, wherever Zoro landed, it's amplified by 20 because he will have no idea how to get around by himself either way. So that makes it infinitely worse. But if nobody else landed here uh, aside from Luffy, and I feel like maybe they would have seen them land. I don't know. It really depends on how big this place is. Then how, I mean, I feel like things are going to move a little bit slowly for right now, because how is he supposed to leave? Where is he supposed to go? How is he supposed to find everybody? I mean, literally the only lead he has is to Rayleigh, and maybe that's the best bet, but the narrator said you shouldn't step foot here. So I, I don't know. Maybe Luffy is actually in trouble for being here. I feel like they would have no men for a reason. But guys, that has been it for episodes 407 408 of our One Piece watch through. It's just, I, it just, I'm just, uh, I don't even know what to say anymore. Drop us up if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.